Okay, so um, I'm Rich Fippin and I'm the director of Bunch of Amateurs. And I'm Niall McManus. Uh, I, I've been playing for Dorking, what, six years now? Christ. Yeah, no. I, yeah play pretty much everywhere bar centre forward. <laughs> yes. <laughs> six or seven out of ten everywhere, except the middle, uh, yeah. I gather. I mean, yeah, the, um, it's always always encouraging when the gaffer tells you, please don't shoot, please don't shoot. <laughs> for, if you see the goal pass to someone else. But, oh, I mean... It is what it is. So we're going to talk about the Dulwich Hamlet episode. Um, we're sitting in a hotel bar before the Oldham game, which is tomorrow. Yeah, Rich is having a nice beaver, beaver neck oil and I'm having to sip on water. It's a bit <laughs> of a piss take, really. Yeah, but I'm sorry about that. Yeah. I probably should have been more sensitive. And oh. um, We were looking at the episodes to go through and I remember Noel got possibly MOM this game from Mark. I can't remember. Um, but this was one that he had a good game in, so I mm. thought we'll choose this one. Well, they come few and far between, but uh, <laughs> I mean, look, look, I'll try and make this a little bit just as interesting as your behind-the-scenes video edits that you put on Twitter, Rich. I mean, they are this, riveting as always. This episode is 35 minutes long, and oh. I've got to pretend to like Niall for the whole 35 minutes. I mean, um, that's going to be a bit of a stretch. So anyway, yeah, yeah. we were shooting this mm. episode um, against the clock because me and Greg got stuck in traffic. I got proper, like, road rage from... <laughs> the frustration of knowing that I was missing stuff but we somehow got away with it we flew the drone straight away Greg did some brilliant b-roll shots we got out on the pitch they were really accommodating actually Dulwich they let us do whatever we liked which doesn't always happen um, I can't remember much else about before this I don't remember doing this interview um, I mean travelling anywhere in central London is always a fucking nightmare like but I mean I think this night well, it's sort of January time, weren't it? Sort of middle of the seat. Was it around middle of the season? Yeah, I, I think. Did, yeah, I didn't but see the. Well, it looks bloody cold. Uh, December or January. But yeah, all, like Dulwich, absolutely. It's a lovely ground. Like, the thing is, half the people aren't actually watching the game. They're busy buying their pork gyros and uh, having some craft beer on the sidelines. But it is the pitch is always lovely down there. So that's the perverse thing mm. about them getting promoted. If they got promoted from this division, mm. they would. Have to get rid of all that side yeah, stuff. Yeah, because there'd be no no alcohol in, in view of the pitch, right? So suddenly they lose all of their... Um, suddenly they lose all of their all revenue the, okay. from, from beer and shit. Okay, so well that, that's half, half the rules of like this sort of National League bollocks. It don't really make a hell of a lot of sense. Like, uh, even when Sutton got promoted from National League, having to tear up your pitch, I mean, you can play Champions League and World Cup qualifiers on a... 3G pitch, but I mean, we're getting away from the topic here. But <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a fair point. I think it's certain. To, oh, hang on, what's this? I think it's some flashback to <laughs> the absolute quagmire that was Hampton and Richmond. Is that what that is? Oh, Christ, it was that. That I'm thankful they're putting a 3G pitch in because that place is always a dive to play in. Nice, nice actual area, but the actual yeah, that's confusing that's, because that's one of the nicest oh, parts of London. It's the yeah, it's you think they'd be able to afford to get a decent pitch in because e everyone around there is millionaires surely just do a whip round and <laughs> yeah everyone <laughs> someone cough up to get them a decent pitch and there's always scaffolding around the outside I'm like come on it's the nicest part of London alright so we just had to do a quick uh, technology check then just to make sure we were recording and we are so um, it's very low budget here no we're on a laptop and some random audio mixing machine that I bought from a shop up the road um, and a pub full of Ra well, sort of rowdy, uh, Dorking, Dorking committee, me yeah, yeah. committee members or some shit like <laughs> and that. And coaches, because yeah. the gaffer's not oh, here. God. Where's the gaffer gone now? Oh, well, I, th I think he's had an early night, of course. He, he's a, it's a Friday yeah. before a game. He, he likes to be tucked up by 9.30 yeah. and, not, and not go out and frequent the local bars and uh, clubs because we're a professional outfit now. We're in the National League, Rich. Exa exactly that, that. I think him, Mitchell, yeah. the kit man, and his mates, and... Um, Dino, I think they've all gone to bed early. Yeah, so. they, well, Mitch Mitch likes to get to the ground the night before the game and course, the, yeah. lay out the kit because he of is course. that dedicated and not and not be swiping through the local hinge, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the hinge members. The, as, as I understand uh, it, I think he changed his address uh, in advance okay. of this evening. So, I mean, um, living in Oldham, you could probably buy a spot up here for a hundred quid. Like, <laughs> I think even Mitch could maybe afford to get a, a, a property up here. Like, compared down to London, where you have to sell your soul just to get a, a one-bedroom, fucking square, square ten-foot apartment. Yeah, but he might. He might get job offers from up here. 
And um, I'd like to see that happen to Mitch. I'd like to see him go and take a kit man. I, I, I want Mitch to blow, go as viral as, per, as possible because that guy, he's, he's hilarious. Honestly, the amount of, like, you should have been on the coach coming here because the amount of content he provides, <laughs> it kept us entertained for the six hour, uh, tr- six hour coach journey up here. It was, yeah. He's arguably the most famous kit man yeah. in the National League. Well, I, I know the gaffer's looking to get you to follow him out on his Ibiza, Ibiza tour later yeah, on the, next um, month. He's going out for a day, 24 hour trip with yeah. the hotel. Yeah, I mean, with uh, four, four other guys at, at all at nineteen twenty, what could go wrong? <laughs> what could go wrong? I think you, we could find Mitch face down in Ocean Beach <laughs> pool somewhere. <laughs> it's a spin-off yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mitch Uncovered. Oh, oh. <laughs> fuck, I'd watch I, it. I think you that, that'd be your highest rated episode, honestly. So this, this interview with Mark is going on and on, and we're filling a little bit here, but um, I think this goes to show what we've learned over the last couple of years, and that's to not do 10-minute interviews with the gaffer, um, because he can talk, not as bad as Barks, but he can talk and talk when you give him an opportunity to. So we'll put these in interviews. We'll make them longer in extended episodes and stuff. But I think for the YouTube audience, do they really want to hear this much? I'm not convinced. Oh, it's Kane. Oh, the, that, one of the best chants I've ever heard uh, on a football field is when we were a sl- slough away and Kane's uh, on the bench and he's running down the sideline. And all you can hear from the, the crowds going, he's coming for you, he's coming for you, <laughs> Harry Potter, he's coming for you. <laughs> Honestly, it, it, it just killed him. He, he couldn't say, could say anything <laughs> back. Can't, coming back from that. But I mean... <laughs> I mean... What, what else could you say? Oh, just said just slink back off to the bench. <laughs> I've said it before. Kane, it's a fairly normal guy, fairly normal looking yeah. guy. The same with Wes Fogden. When they took their shirts off in the dressing room, they remind me of Willie out of The Simpsons. Yeah. The fucking muscles. Uh, well, th- yeah, from th- like Kane only ever did chest day. Like the, <laughs> the geezer just lived, breathed, <laughs> lived and breathed the bench press. And Foggy... <laughs> Foggy was like something out of train spotting where he, he can't have eaten because the, like he had like a 12 pack but <laughs> he was a human skeleton it was insane like but yeah the, to be fair the boat Foggy was one of the strong like so strong he was like playing against a spider like the, the human <laughs> fucking spider like arms and legs everywhere absolute nightmare when he was at Haven when we played them one of the hardest people I've ever had to play against really uh, oh nightmare because he would not let you breathe and like you'd think you got past him well, he's got, got these sort of go-go gadget legs that fucking just seem to stretch around and yeah nick the ball off you he's absolute nightmare to play against I, um, I miss those guys mm. oh. Oh, fog, I yeah, I, 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 I think Foggy, Foggy definitely is a big miss. Kane, I, I think again, gr- unbelievable player. I think it's just as as the club obviously goes up. I think obviously some some people can't quite yeah, fall either. by the wayside. Yeah, yeah, exactly, they? and it's but, so but. technically this dressing room <laughs> was a fucking nightmare to film in because it's it was a strange shape. I didn't know anyone was going to be. Um, the, I don't have many GoPros at this point. I think I've only got one, maybe two. I'm sitting on the floor with the Ronin. And Good light in that. Good up. light in that. I mean, that <laughs> looks kind of artistic. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I, don't, I can't even tell where the fuck I'm sitting in there. I think I, I must I, be down there on the right. Yeah, you're sort of in the corner, I think, because you, you always got to be aware of where you are with your with your with your little GoPro. Yeah, right? I try. I try to stay out. Of to the be way, fair, like yeah, you're, you're relative, You've gotten better definitely in the last couple <laughs> of years. Like just sort of, sort of getting your little corner and then just. To be honest with you, you I I, I rarely notice you because you've got. A, I think, like people have said before, you've got to focus one hundred percent on the gaffer. Otherwise, he will pick up on it. He like, does not. He does not miss a beat when someone's not looking I, at I him. I have right. mastered the art of looking at him and like just acting like, yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm you have total concentration. Oh, yeah. um, when I look at some of you boys and I have to look around and get those reaction mm. shots, yeah. I am thinking, what is going through their head right now? Are they listening to every word? Because Moro does a brilliant oh. job oh. of oh. looking interested. Mo- oh, yeah. Like, it's incredible how what he does. I find it like, if I'm ever in that situation, I'm going to pull a Moro. Yeah. He, he, it's the, the sort of lean slightly forward, hands in front of him, sort of thinking, okay, yeah. Furrowed brown. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm really listening to this one, Gaffer. Honestly. But, uh, the, uh, again, uh, poor kid. Bobby Joe is, again, the worst for it. He kills yeah. himself. Uh, <laughs> he has got ants, like, ants in his pants. The geese are, cannot stop moving. I'm trying to figure out who's... I th- me and Greg are filming, right? So this is Greg's camera. 
back then we mm. were okay with doing a shoot with mm. just one lead camera we wouldn't do mm. that now we'd always find two mm. i'm on i'm sitting i'm really squashed in next mm. to the dugout and i think i've got three cat i'm trying to film the game i'm trying two cameras on the bench it's a fucking mess but when i watch this back i think so we've kind of gotten away with it i mean yeah to be fair it looks like you covered most of most of the pitch uh, we are using yeah. the dulledge camera angle as well oh. which is cheating a little bit so that's me mm. on a bench cam but greg's going to stay in the half of dorking mm. unfortunately because it's a game where you dominate i yeah. needed him to get the fuck out of the way oh the, oh, the oh, oh christ ben ben, ben ben the old the old physio ben fucking move mate. Uh, this yeah, is yeah. hard enough as it is mm. um but back then i wouldn't have the balls to say to someone Get out my way. You're a lot. You're a lot more comfortable now. Yeah, yeah. These days. Yeah. Also, I mean, I was looking around the dressing room the other day, mate, and I realised that I predate all but about seven of you. Yeah, cross. Now, man. which you know goes to show, like back in back when I joined, and obviously everyone's like, "Who the fuck are you?" Now most of the squad came in after me, so I feel a little bit more empowered to be able to say, do "You know what? I need to do this." Yeah, we can't. We can't all just hide in the toilets whilst yeah. you come around asking for interviews. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Just now, I've, when I was I've, I've mastered that. It's only the last two weeks. <laughs> and like, I've, been, I've been able to hide from you for three years. And uh, well, it, just now, I found uh, Niall being regaled with stories by Cal Kennedy, oh. and I mean, it sounded like a fucking funny story. Oh. I just caught the end, um, and I said to him, "Who's going to come and help us?" And it was, "Oh, I've got to go to bed. Oh, I've got to go to bed." Which uh, is, uh, I mean, if you want, if you want someone on on one of these directors' commentary, the best storyteller you will ever meet, he's Cal, good, Callum, Callum Kennedy just knows how to tell a story he it, does. It, it, like Spielberg that guy can paint a picture <laughs> of words. Like, he, he's, he's very talented <laughs> you just everyone gather around when it's cow story time because it, <laughs> it will have you enthralled yeah he's good sometimes I'll miss a story and I catch the end of it and I'll be like I'm going to listen to that on the yeah. GoPros when I get home 100% I mean he, he seems to have lived a life as exciting as about five or six human beings but so we, was, we had a goal. We finally had a goal. Yeah. So there goes Alfie. Al, Alfie pre body falling apart. Like it's funny. Christ. He, he. Oh, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Um, yeah this is this is uh, Alfie when he was scoring hat tricks of hat tricks. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is peak Alfie. And um, this episode is going to remind us what we're missing. Yeah. Just can only hope that he. Oh, there he oh, is. Oh yeah. Look at it. Just re- yeah, win the ball back and pass to someone who can actually. Uh, That's do, what you're supposed do to do. Oh, yeah. Well, the, the, we are Water Carriers FC. Me, Morrow, Josh. Just win the ball. Give it to give it to the magic man, Macca. There's Cheeds. He'd only just joined. Oh yeah, the he, if I big, big Cheeds. Yeah, I think he, we just got him. Oh Christ, where did he come from? I can't even remember now. But it was a, a league below, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so oh no, somehow Jace has missed it from about half a yard. <laughs> uh, he's he's almost done. It's almost impressive how he's missed that, but fair play. You, you I mean, I can't, I, that, I, yeah. I, I can't talk, but I mean, you should be able to explain go. that. Oh, there he's won it on the edge of the box. Oh, yeah, that, that was oh stone wall penalty. That I mean, yeah, I think, I think you went down thinking I might get a pen here, oh, landed and thought I'm not getting a pen here. I'm not even going to appeal. No, I mean, uh, let's be honest. Yeah, I just I felt any sort of contact there. The geezer six foot four. I thought, you know what, I can maybe maybe buy myself a pen here and. Uh, <laughs> the the rest seems straight through that one. It's, 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 it's the Dan Gallagher special of just wait for the guy to run into the back of him and then just fall on the ball. Like, you do know how to fall over quite. Oh, I'm expert. Quite convincingly. Here he is, Bobby Joe, run down the wing. So this is this is early days for DJ and Cheadle, if I remember right. So yes, that, those are the two that I do post matches with. Yeah, DJ coming from like step five. I don't know what he was doing down there, but oh, fucking hell, Alfie! Yeah. If we see that again. I mean, then fuck me. It's I think gift, I think he's going to be such a a big plus when when he comes back. He's obviously uh, off to Bogner for a, for a month, uh, but I think when he, if he can just get back somewhere to where he used to be, like we, it's such a it's it's a new signing. Like you sign in a twenty goal a season striker, which everyone's looking for in this league. Yeah, right, it's yeah. exciting. But there, there he goes, go, Bosch. and he can he can score with both feet and and you wouldn't think it that his leap like honestly out of anyone in the team to win a header I'd put my money on Alf because that his leap is outrageous yes it is <laughs> like, it's honestly but I mean what what just that's just great player you I think, t- yeah you take I've, I think I took it for granted mm. at the time how good he what how good he was and hopefully he is 
Well, that, that's the thing. I think like is this is only like it's sort of, this is all. Oh, uh, this is when. Oh, we, so I yeah. thought. I genuinely mm. thought that he that he mm. couldn't breathe. And I, like, well, he just point, got winded. Yeah, you? well, I thought he'd maybe he'd fuck out his track here. Look, mm-hmm. you can see him there. He, I'm shouting at Mark. Mm-hmm. He's in deep trouble, mate. Yeah. He's in deep trouble. So Mark spazzes out. Mm-hmm. And rightly yeah. so, yeah. because he's clearly in agony. Well, he's but also I, I JP9, his, yeah. his favourite son. <laughs> you don't fuck about with JP9, right? <laughs> no. um, but I, I remember thinking, no, that's, that's a just get on the fucking pitch and help him yeah. situation. Um, it wasn't quite I, I, as bad I think as the I gaffer thought, was a broken collar preoccupied man. about the ref not giving the free kick but, and then finally clocks that <laughs> Jason is spot Jason is now out for a few yeah, months yeah, yeah that, that was that was really I think this was really where Alf stepped up as well because Jace was out for I think a good two two and a half months here yeah uh, Mark texts me um, saying how bad it was because I, I was like oh you'll be fine and he was like no you don't understand this is bad mm. And I thought he meant goals because mm. I was like, but Alfie will score loads. Don't worry about it. But what he meant was it's what he does around the pitch, right? It's the heading it out in the last five minutes and whatever else that yeah. the leadership and that that he brings um, that oh. Mark was really worried about. Yeah, just seeing Josh Taylor's about to come on, I think we might have the most legs in midfield of all time. Yes. Me, Fo- me, Foggy and Josh Taylor <laughs> yeah. probably running a combined f- 45k between the three of us. It, there's absolutely zero flair, but Christ, we can get around the pitch. The, yeah, the Dulwich fans yeah. did say after this, we've just seen the champions, and obviously you didn't win the championship, but... Mm. Um, they had, and they, this annoyed Mark because they stopped yeah. his stream. <laughs> but in all yeah. fairness, that's what they oh, wanted. Just they wanted t- it just learn. takes one small thing, and yeah. the, the gaffer gets fixated on it. <laughs> and then we'll spend the next twenty minutes just reliving that one decision, which the, the ref could have a worldy the rest of it. But, but that one I decision. Say, what I've said to him and to Barks oh. is, I mean, that's that's well mixed. Oh. Is surely, if if the art of war was written about football, it would say. Just focus oh. on the fucking game. Don't get involved oh, with, uh, I, I, with the I'm not, refs. I'm not one to talk. I, when, like, it's easier when I'm playing right wing back to be calm, but whenever I play centre mid, I lose my head at least once or twice. Right. Like, right. I, that's why I'm, I'm kind of uh, anxious about these new descent rules because I will at some point lose my head and tell... Call the ref every name under the sun and yeah. probably get myself in a spot of bother. But Here that, comes a big pair of balls. All, yeah. Right in off the bell end. Adrenaline yes. of getting a hat trick carries him through. Yeah. That's the first time he'd ever celebrated like that in yeah. front of me. Yeah. I was quite pleased. She's <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> she gives the, there's this young lady, there she is. She gives Alfie a look. There oh. she is. Um, Alfie then realises actually oh. his bollocks are really hurt. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. That's that's the pair of bollocks that he pulled out in training the other day when I was trying to film something. Oh, was that the yoga session? Yeah, during the yoga session. He's the like, film this. The stiffest yoga session of all time. <laughs> and Cal just doing a bit of a... Not Cal. Uh, Alfie just doing a bit of a cock or ball game. Yeah. Oh. Proper but, pulled his balls out. I, uh, right. you know, it wasn't the highlight of my day. Well, it's, it's just already rated 18, isn't it? Or something, something. Yeah. <laughs> so you're yeah, right. I think there's uh, Coach Sammy on the bench there. Oh, Christ. The Buffalo. Like... I will. I think I will go to my grave here in Sammy's screech. Like, <laughs> of, like I, I don't want to do it to your listeners. The, the noise that he makes, but whenever he just like ref, the ref noise that comes out of Sammy, it's it's like nails on a chalkboard. I I'd never, I'd never it. heard it. I didn't know what you were talking about until we put that mic on him at the end of last yeah. season, and I was <laughs> I was fascinated by what I was hearing yeah. on two levels: uh, the information he was giving and how much he was talking, and and the pitch he was doing it in. Mm. Oh yeah, it's. Uh, the more agitated he gets, the higher octave he get, goes in, until only dogs can hear him. Like, yeah. Oh, I just remembered, mm. when Mark mm. walks in here, mm. he has a lot to say about mm. the referee. Mm. And um, he says something to me. Oh, he, he, he was talking about gingers, I think. Mm. Oh. And he said something to me, and I said, I'm just annoyed because I can't use any of this. And the whole dressing room laughed at my, at mm. my line. And it was a real fucking highlight for me because I made the dressing room laugh. You're finally accepted by Yeah, it boys. felt like I was oh. accepted. Laughing um, with you or at you? No, I think it was with me on that occasion. But I felt like George in uh, Seinfeld. I thought I should oh. say, thanks everybody, yeah, good yeah. night. Like, yeah, that, that's me, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. But no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think he's pretty much just going on here about just squeeze the life out of him. Uh, I think they're matching up or something like that. I think this was the period yeah. of um, you know put your foot on their throats and yeah. get the scalpel out. There was a lot of that at halftime. 
Yeah, I, I think games. I think during like this season, I think this was just as we were we were really starting to pick up. I think uh, where we went on that sort of like long streak of just win it, win it, winning games. Yeah. I think like the only th- the only reason we didn't win the league this year was because somehow Maidstone went on <laughs> just just as good a run. Yeah, you had, well, you had a dodgy start, yeah. and then got on the run. Always playing catch up. League. Always playing catch up this year. Um, but yeah, it was unbelievable that Maidstone just kept going. Well, that's the thing. Like, we, obviously, we we're always playing catch up because we had such a mediocre start, and then we thought, okay, like, well, I think we pretty much won almost ten games on the bounce. It was you eleven. Think? You won yeah. eleven, and you're just thinking, oh, well, eventually we've got to catch up here. And you're looking on, the, and somehow they've scored like two goals in the ninety third and ninety seventh minute. You're like, yeah. Jesus Christ, what we, what have we got to do here to win yeah. the league? And then we beat them at Argaff, and somehow we're still, yeah, still behind them, but. I mean, I think yeah, like you said, this is just him going on. You've got let's try and let's try and win five or six. Or but good spirits there, laughing at half time. Well, I haven't seen that in a while. I mean, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's when it's always easier when you're three nil up rather than three nil to <laughs> three nil down. True, like, but True. I mean, and yeah, it's obviously the start of this season's been a little bit tougher, but. I you know I've um, I've since that game I've only filmed I think two away wins. I didn't film a single away win last season. Really? Not one. I mean there was I think there's only had you had two to choose from, so it weren't yeah. like it was a. Uh, well, you were safe by the time uh, you started winning away. You were safe, which is when I started filming Walton and Hersham. Yeah. So those games, Wildstone and whatever, I was I was somewhere else. Um, every game I went to, Solihull and Altrincham. Um, Notts County, oh, York. Oh. I did a lot of away games last season, and there were, yeah. I mean, our, our, our away form last year left a lot to be desired. Which is why I've got high yeah. hopes of tomorrow because I think oh, the situation that Oldham are in, and I also think that I think this time last year yeah. you guys were a little bit overawed by the fact that you were playing in massive stadiums. I think we, were, yeah, we were very green last year. Like we just sort of you, you came into. Oh, I think came, that was a foul. I think that might have been a foul, but. Hey ho! I mean, we move, but yeah, I think this like this. You sort of you get the first first year sort of under your belt, and now you like. I feel like we feel we are, we at least uh, deserve to be at this level, and now it's just yeah, not get not getting overawed by. Oh, how's Foggy not buried that? But oh, there here, Alf. This is this is actually something the gaffer went mad at him about. He was annoyed about him uh, hitting the bar uh, there, wasn't the he? Game. He's just like Alfie just. You've scored three already. Just fucking pass the ball in the back yeah. of the net. Stop trying to smash the granny out of it. <laughs> that like, that's right. You've got good memory, <laughs> yeah. man. I mean, Christ. <laughs> yeah. Like, is, is Jimmy Christ? Uh, so the, Jimmy the at the moment around. is a bit like you when injured. Mm. Is the best player around when yeah. you're not available. Yeah. I mean, the, the, and then as soon as five minutes into him playing. Gaffer will be absolutely abusing him for not run, running running some guy yeah. down the line. I mean, oh. Oh, so this is the uh, alpha yeah, sequence yeah. where, and this is something that Mark got on at him about a few times, because uh, because Alfie would lose his cool a little bit um, and get a bit petulant. Mm. So even though he scored a hat trick, he's still going to get a bit of a bollocking yeah. for it. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Like, I think Gaffer's a big big on sort of discipline and not just he's like almost obsessed with not going down to 10 men because you always the amount of times we've taken advantage of people going down to 10 yeah. men he's so yeah. conscious that do not get do not get a second yellow if, yeah. you get, if you're on and why the amount of times people come off after 25 minutes yeah. like, after getting an early yellow I mean I'm yeah I remember I just got quite upset about it once like, and I understood it yeah. oh yeah he took himself into it um, and then two minutes after he took him off, someone else got. Yeah, Dan, ca- Dan came on for him, and within the hot, like two minutes, got a straight, got a yellow card straight away. And it's just like, well, I, I, if I was ours, I'd be sitting on the on the bench, absolutely fuming. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I think this this at this point of the game, really, we would just sort of gone. Oh, I mean, we you three nil up. It's just a. I think we. This was a Tuesday night, weren't it? Christ, how on yes, earth has was. that gone in, by the way? That was such a bad goal. Uh, is that th- Lincoln in goal? Yeah, Dan Lincoln. isn't it? I think yeah. this was, what, again, early early Dan Lincoln, I want to say, because we just... Yeah, because he came in for the Oxford game at the start of the run. Uh, yeah. Wasn't it? That was And that was December. So, yeah, you're right. This must be like January, I think. And it's hard, given how hot it is, and like, it's hard to imagine what it's like 
being on a Tuesday night in January, oh. <laughs> absolutely freezing cold. Yeah, I mean, yeah, right, right now I'm absolutely sweat, sweating bullets in this <laughs> ho- <laughs> hotel. Like they, I was going to say, uh, uh, this hotel must be on a budget because there is zero AC <laughs> and I'm sweating, sweating through my T-shirt right now. It's just... <laughs> Uh, not, and Rich's cold neck oil is looking more and more appealing. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a, a nice cold pint of Guinness would, uh, sounds absolutely lovely. I've got right a full that. day shooting tomorrow. There's oh. only three of us in a oh. big stadium. I cannot oh. drink any more, but I can see the committee is still there. Oh, yeah, you're getting roped in. Uh, uh, you're getting roped in after this. A G&T, you know, okay. So yours. after a few beers, I'll move on to the gin. Oh yeah, because yeah. you're in such good shape. You don't want to. That's the don't, fourth don't, don't, time yeah. in a week. The, and I'm actually six pounds down. No, oh, oh, that I'm is calorie counting. I'm six pounds down. That's that's impressive, man. I get inspired you, by people bullying me. I was going to say, was this just the big shit you've taken this afternoon, or yeah. is it? <laughs> no, I'm no. Oh, it's six pounds is six pounds. Got to keep uh, going, now. Oh, yeah. One day is is this just with the aim of trying to get in our squad? Like, you're, just, you're, I'm already in your squad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot um, you. You are technically. A, you do have a squad number. I Rich, Rich Thip and thirty nine. It matches my. It matches my age every year. Yeah, I, move I, it up yeah, yeah. I think I'm forty four oh. now. And when you reach my age and you're mm. overweight, I am going to come and laugh in your face. Yeah, like, we've got, we got, this was coming, we, I've got know? a little while to like, till I reach your age. But, uh, you go faster than uh, you think. Uh, yes. A lot of people listening to this right now are thinking, ah, oh, the youth of Nile, <laughs> no, wasted. I'm yeah, I'm, youth I'm, is I'm, wasted on Nile. The Nile. thing is, I say I'm young, I'm, I'm oldish, I'm 29 next month, I'm, get, I'm getting on a bit. Like, yeah, you're past I'm, your peak, mate. Yeah, oh, well, Bob. Well, well, well over the hill, oh, Bob. Oh, gaffer went, shit, bo- I think, went ape shit about that one. <laughs> Well, it's like probably just, just, just recycle, just re- stop <laughs> fucking shooting for thirty yards. But, but to be fair, if I'd have left foot like Bobby, I'd, I'd start taking pot shots. I'd, I'd, especially, I'd, I'd like to see him score more because you know he yeah. can. Oh, Bob, Bobby's the one player that I, I actually want to do well more than anything. Cause yes. You can tell he's so he just wants to do what he just wants to do well. Like wants to please. Oh, yeah. I mean. You saw that from the last commentary episode. I think he uh, absolute verbal diarrhea that he was, he was spewing just to get 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 his point across. So I'm loving dearly, <laughs> but that is Bobby twenty four seven. He's the nicest guy, man. Well, I asked Dan Pybus yeah, yeah. when he joined, like, how are you settling in? Are you meeting people? He said, "Well, I sit next to Bob in the changing oh, room, yeah. so you get all the lowdown. <laughs> yeah, it's, you're you, never sure you, someone yeah, to talk I, to." I was going to say, yeah, there's never a quiet moment. Um, so they're, they're kind of pushing it a little bit here, but they don't get anywhere. I'm actually surprised at how long this second half is. Yeah, I think you really are eking this <laughs> out. Were well, you trying to hit the 40 minute mark? Or I something don't know like why. That? Just no, pad it, padding it with absolute, just benign, <laughs> benign nonsense. Yeah, really. back then I didn't have any. They, it was just as long as it was. Mm. Like I didn't make long or short versions, mm. but I'm looking at this thinking, how is this stuff making the cut? I don't. I mean, we can't hear it, honestly. Uh, we can't hear what they're talking about. Presumably Mark's moaning about the referee the injury time yeah. and the ref and stuff, so maybe that's it. I oh, actually I know yeah. I'm setting up conflict with the referee because Oh well, didn't um, he didn't you there's a payoff you? at the end. No, the ref oh. the ref oh. bangs his uh, yes, yes. boots out when Mark's doing his, his thing. He was a scrawny little bell end, the ref. I do remember <laughs> it. In, I quite in, like uh, this ref. Uh, actually apart from the prior thing, I don't think he did too badly. Uh, no, he spotted your dive. I, I mean that I mean, every ref spots my dive. I don't think I've been given a penalty in the last three years. And, <laughs> I, and I dive at least once or twice a game. So he finally caught blown the whistle. That's it, yeah. See, I, c- I can call him a ginger prick because both both my mum and my brother are. So I'll get away with okay. it. Okay. Like. So it's, it's, all, it's all good. Like He didn't take too much offence to it. Well, I, I won't name names, but we've just been told by a club oh. that we are not allowed to film at their ground. Oh. May, and it was this is what I didn't really like because they weren't clear they were a bit opaque about this maybe they said it's because of the video where you called somebody a ginger prick I mean and I'm like, that, that well, sounds it, like it, a stretch are you, are you saying that's a fact that's why you're not doing it or it, are you the, just it, hinting like, is the owner a, a, a ginger by any chance or? it could be that oh, could okay. be it the oh. thing was the video where I did that I'm apologising for it that's the whole point of the video is an apology I don't know so. It's all right. Hints and controversy there. Ah, it's what it is. Not every club wants us to film. I don't understand that, but they must oh. have their their reasons. Um, I mean, so, well, some of the some of the places we've filmed, I can understand why. Because we've, as we've gone through the leagues, there have been some shit holes we've had to play at. Like, and, and it's funny as you get higher and you go to some really nice grounds, then occasionally you go back to a maidenhead. 
It puts and you're it in like, perspective. Holy doesn't fuck. It? Potter's Bar will forever live in my memory of us having to wa- having to warm up on the playground next to the next oh, to wow. the next to the, uh, <laughs> the ground. It was just like Jesus Christ. This, <laughs> I'm like, if I never have to come here again, I'm probably see in about six months' time. Not man of size for Potter's Bar, but <laughs> <laughs> and I'll take what you can get. And mate. I will have only gone for the bunny. I just want to make sure <laughs> that I make that clear. <laughs> Gaffer here telling about all I do is run about. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, that's. Sounds about right. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to hear what you said there, but it was definitely something like that. Probably yeah. something about not shooting as well. Exactly. Road runner. All, all sorts. I think I've been called. Me and Mo, me and Morrow for some reason got called the Mitchell brothers for a little while. I think <laughs> I think it's because we were both follically a bit challenged. Uh, <laughs> but him's more so than me. But I'm I'm well on my way to joining them. Oh, he's holding on there now. I was going to say that. On. Rich, you can't speak, mate. You I see. I've never seen you take a cap off. You you have your mind. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with my hair. I'm taking my cap off. <laughs> And uh, there it is, lots wisp, of hair. Wisp, wispy. It's only a bit flat because of the cap. I was going to say, you and Gaffer didn't get a two-for-one deal <laughs> in Maidstone. No. I'm not going bald. <laughs> you call me as fat as you like. I'm not going bald. Sure, sure. Oi. Fucking hell. Oh, I, we've got, how far in are we? We are. 31 we minutes. Are. I've finally had enough of Niall. <laughs> four, and a, four minutes, 55 yeah. to go. Yeah, this, the, okay, let's, yeah, come on. Let's let's you let's put po- 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 times two on the gaffer speech. Here, like. <laughs> Some of us need to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Sammy. Su- the Sammy chatting club, shit. Yeah, Sammy yeah, supporters yeah. club. Yeah, just reinforcing the gaffer's message, of course. Yeah, yeah. So we're outside. Me and Greg doing these interviews. We've got there. He goes. Yeah. There's the referee. Yeah, your friend. This was brilliant. <laughs> just one last dig yeah love, love. I love the nice wave yeah, that's what really makes oh. it like yeah no worries lads yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> see you soon see you soon no worries. Mark didn't miss a beat here which oh. is nice this is when we interviewed Cheeds and DJ because they're just signed of course Cheed all uh, got it straight away um, oh. DJ comes out he's cold he's really mm. cold yeah. so he yeah. takes Mark's coat mm. Um, and then when I start asking him questions, he doesn't understand the process of an interview. So oh, no. I I said, so as always, I always ask, who are you? What are you doing here? Oh. And he's like, well, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm Darren. Darren. Like, <laughs> Just call me I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> <laughs> Start answer the questions, DJ. <laughs> I mean, again, DJ, <laughs> so one of one of our like. What a guy! Such, such a great player as well. Not the brightest penny in the bunch. Like for, for him, Jimmy and Bobby, I think. Uh, is, uh, <laughs> I like to do a trio. The Forest Gump Olympics, I would say. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, we, uh, yeah. I mean, good thing they're good at football. Let's put it that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think with um, with DJ, for the short amount of time that he spent with the club, he is dorking through and through. Right. Oh yeah. Like, him. Embody, embodies embodies the club or what the gaffer wants about the club like it, it, yeah I mean he enjoy, enjoys a pint like, like yeah. the rest of us just he's a social guy likes to play football and yeah a bit of a yeah I think he did, like gaffer loved him straight away and all, all of us thought obviously he's a great player as well and yeah. just, a, a, uh, just a good guy as well I think that's how the main thing of everyone in we've got no dickheads in the, that's absolutely in, in true the squad. and this was his opportunity mm. I mean, I, I remember filming Charlwood a few yeah. weeks after this, and one of the Step 7 players said they'd played with DJ. I mean, and yeah, we got him from a Step 5 team. I honestly, yeah. again, don't know what he was doing down there. Because because he was his party mm. lifestyle, they were yeah. telling me. They were saying his party lifestyle had held him back, yeah. and Mark had given him this opportunity, and he really took it. And, you know, he stuck with it at Chesterfield as well, from what I can I mean, tell. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. When first time we played him, when he moved to Chesterfield, I was like... Christ, DJ, he'd lost about a stone mm. and a half. I was like, Jesus Christ, he actually, he's got abs and like... <laughs> he's in great shape. Like, unbelievable shape. It's like, it, it's, it makes such... That's the thing is you go through the levels. Like, this quality is always through each of the levels, but it's the fitness is where it really starts ramping up as you yeah. go through. And you can see, like, when we was in Rhyme and Prem or League like this, you see some players who are like, unbelievable, but they were carrying a stone and a half right. and like, just couldn't move. You're right. like, I'm like... I may not be technically as good as you, but I'll run rings around you just because you yeah. literally cannot move. And as you go through the levels, it gets obviously everyone's... It's not, this is now effectively League 3. It's yeah, a, it's it a is, professional yeah. league yeah. now where everyone's training every day, everyone's yeah. in great shape. So like, you have to be, otherwise you'll get left by the wayside. What I love about Cheeds mm. in this part of the story is that 
unlike DJ, who should have been playing a higher level, Cheats never expected to play a higher level. <laughs> and he'd been plucked out, yeah. and he's like, what, me? Are you yeah. sure? Have oh, you mate. got the wrong name? Yeah, he, 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 he again, had a, has an unbelievable left foot. Like, he, absolute club foot. He's a yeah. wand. He did come here, though, saying he's a free kick specialist and I never saw yeah, him score one free kick well, like, the amount of times on the mic Mark was going alright guys this is the one Cheats is on this and he made, he used to make me take it out every time because oh. it made him look silly <laughs> yeah because he'd smash scored. it he'd smash it 10 yards over the ball oh, hit the wall. Um, and honestly the, it, it must have it got to about 10, 10 20 games in and we were like Cheats, we can't keep it. Can't. Someone, someone else please take it off his hand my favourite Cheats moment was um he used to do this thing that I put in a lot of episodes. He'd hit the ball with the outside of his boot or something. He'd oh, have a technique for yeah. squaring the ball. Mm. And um, Mark eventually had a go at him for it. And he oh. said to me, I've been doing that for years. Like, yeah. He's only just noticed. Uh, well, oh, we're finished. Oh, well, that went what, faster. I had oh, much better time, time than for, I expected with Nar. Oh, well, I'd say I enjoyed it. But, I mean, yeah, it was enjoyable. It was an enjoyable Just really. go to bed. Now. Yeah, I, was, I think it's bed. well past my bedtime. It's... Uh, we'll see. We'll see how tomorrow goes. You enjoy your neck oil and G and T's. I will. Thanks, no, mate. Yeah, I will. <laughs>